everyone at Birth Beach Club. And uh, just, uh, I should mention a big thank you to Heidi and Mel for providing the venue for today's event. Uh, today's uh, service is dedicated to all servicemen and women who have served their countries. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't make a special mention to our Indonesian host. Power and endurance on both sides. Apart from the heavy casualties from attack and counter-attack, the lines were so close uh, that there was no respite from bombs, shells and mines. Mental strain and physical illness reduced the bodies of our... They answered when we called, asked a little and got less, and made us richer for their sacrifice, but poorer for their passion. In remembrance of the dead, Holland. And we'd invite anybody that would like to uh, paint a puppy. Battalion in World War II. I saw a kid marching with medals on his chest. He marched alongside diggers, marching six abreast. He knew it was Anzac Day, he walked along with pride. He did his best to keep in step with diggers by his side. And when the march was over, the kid was rather tired. A digger said, Who's medals, son? To which the kid replied, They belong to Daddy that he did not come back. He died up in New Guinea on a lonely jungle track. The kid looked rather sad and a tear came to his eye. The digger said, don't cry my son and I will tell you why. Your daddy marched with us today, all the blooming way. We diggers know that he was there. It's like that on Anzac Day. The kid looked rather puzzled and didn't understand but the digger went on talking and started to wave his hand. For this great land we live in, there's a price we have to pay. For we all love fun and merriment in this country where we live. The price was that some soldier his precious life must give. For you to go to school, my lad, and worship God at will, someone had to pay the price. So the diggers paid the bill. Your daddy died for us, my son, for all things good and true. I wonder if you understand the things I've said to you. The kid looked up at the digger just for a little while and with a changed expression said, with a lovely smile, I know my dad marched here today. This is Anzac Day. I know he did. I know he did. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember that.
a uh, poem by uh, Clyde Hamilton. The Anzac day march was over. The old digger had done his best. His body ached from marching. It was time to sit and rest. He made his way to a park bench and sat with lowered head. A young boy passing saw him, approached and politely said, Please, sir, do you mind if I ask you what the medals you wear are for? Did you get them for being a hero when fighting in a war? Startled, the old digger moved over and beckoned the boy to sit. Eagerly, the lad accepted. He had not expected this. First of all, I was not a hero, said the old digger in solemn tone, but I served with many heroes, the ones that never came home. <clears throat> so when you talk of heroes, it's important to understand the greatest of all heroes gave their lives defending this land. The medals are worn in their honour as a symbol of respect. All diggers wear them on Anzac Day. It shows they don't forget. The old digger then climbed to his feet and asked the boy to stand. Carefully he removed the medals and placed them in his hand. He told him he could keep them to treasure throughout his life, a legacy of a kind, left behind, paid for in sacrifice. Overwhelmed, the young boy was speechless. He couldn't find words to say. It was there the old digger left him, going quietly on his way. In the distance, the young boy glimpsed him, saw him turn and wave goodbye. Saddened, he sat alone on the bench, tears welled in his eyes. He never again saw him ever, but still remembers with pride when the old digger told him of heroes and a young boy sat and cried.